So come on into hip, hips to your heels, hands, palms up, and forehead down toward the floor. And just relax there, <clears throat> letting that upper back get a little stretch. And then if you bring your knees together, you'll get a little bit more stretch on the lower back too. Tuck in your chin, relax your shoulders. Take a few breaths. And then inhaling, sit up on your heels. <clears throat> We're gonna slide the hands forward and inhale, coming all the way up and extend your hands behind you, lifting your heart. And then exhale and come slowly back down. Sweep your hands along the mat and back into child's pose. So let your shoulders roll forward as you're in child's pose. And then inhale and do a nice little back bend coming up. Look toward the ceiling, but chin a little bit towards your chest. Stretch out through the back of your neck as you're in the back bend. And then slowly tuck the chin in gently. Not all the way. Sweep those hands back and again sink into child's pose. And one more time, just sweep in and up. Heart high. Bring those hands maybe a little further back and exhale down. And then again, in child's pose, just take a moment and breathe. And again, inhaling, come on up. And coming to a, oh, let's do a cross leg position for our warm ups. So, sitting bones a little behind you, shoulders back and down, core activate. So, bring those ribs toward your spine and up, crown toward the ceiling. Keep breathing. And then we've got our legs crossed. We're creatures of habit. So, switch and bring the other leg in front or on top. And again, push those sitting bones slightly behind you. Draw the ribs towards your spine, shoulders slightly hunching forward, chin coming just a little bit, but not all the way towards your chest and bring the forehead forward. And then inhale, bring the ribs forward, the heart forward and look up a little back bend, shoulders dropping back and down. And just a few times through that forward bend, backward bend. It's crunching in through the midsection and expanding through the heart. And as you exhale, just pause. And as you inhale, come back upright and into your seated position. And then side stretch, one hand down, the other arm out at shoulder level. Turn the palm up toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder and slide over to the side. So get that whole side length and then keep the hip that you're leaning away from sitting bone down. And reach out your head and your hands toward your fingers. And then if you want a little bit deeper, you can bend your elbow or just keep sliding that hand away. Keep the hip you're leaning away from down. Feel the ribs open. And then inhale back up, shoulder down, and exhale the hand to your side. Switch the legs and we'll go the other way. So fingertips down, arm out at shoulder level, palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Slide over to the side, but keep that sitting bone hip down. Reach out through your fingers and your head. Lengthen through the whole side. And again, you can bend the elbow and deepen that as you keep the hip sitting bone down. Lengthen and breathe. Feel that whole opening through the ribs. And then inhale back up and exhale that hand to your side. And our first twist of the day, so really stretch the spine apart. One hand to the knee, the other arm out in front, and exhale around in your twist. Keep stretching the spine apart so it's got room to move. Bring your hand close to your body on the floor behind you and stretch up. And exhale, hips, ribs, shoulder deep and into the twist. Don't just turn your neck. Keep lengthening, exhaling, and relaxing. And then bring the hand back up, follow it back around to the center, and release. Feel the circulation, and switch your legs so we can twist the other way. Again, sitting bone slightly behind you, spine stretching apart, hand to the other knee, and arm out. Stretch the spine apart, 
Exhale, follow your hand around and twist. Bring that hand behind you to the floor, stretch your spine up, exhale and deepen. And as always, only go as far as your body wants to. Take a breath. Exhale, relax. Inhale that hand back shoulder level and follow it around to the center. Take a moment again, just feeling what's going on internally for you today. And then we're going to come back into our child pose. So once again, hips to your heels, hands, palms up, forehead down. Get a good stretch going. And then inhaling, sit up on your heels, come up on your fingertips and tuck your toes under. And then roll back onto the base of your toes, not the toes themselves, and find your balance. You can bring your hands to your heart. And we're just going to push the heels down, crown to the ceiling, and stand up. If that doesn't work for you, you can always just roll up and into mountain pose. So as we get into mountain pose, we're just going to get a little bit more warm up for the upper body. So bring your hands behind you and put your heels of your palms on your lower shoulder blades and your fingertips down towards your hips. And then rotate those elbows toward each other and feel that expansion across the heart. And then rotate your face to look up, chin slightly away from your chest, but not too much. So it keeps stretching through the back of your neck, even while you're going into this back bend. Keep lengthening breathing. Elbows toward each other. And then tuck your chin in toward your chest and inhale back into mountain pose. So toes straight ahead, feet hip width apart, sitting those down, core active, and the whole upper body just relaxing down into the feet. Everything stacked for support, core working, and crown reaching out. Bring your hands to your heart. Inhale and bring them toward the ceiling. Separate your hands and swan dive forward. And all the way over into the one. Side your hands up on your shins. Do that halfway up stretch and get everything straight. So elbows, knees, and spine. Exhale back down. And again, hands to your heart. And into mountain pose. So we're going to do another version of that. So we're going to take a moment and dip your knees into a um, knee bend and come down with your ribs toward your spine, uh, your ribs toward your thighs, and then sweep your hands forward and up toward the side in a sun salute, and then gather your arms around and gather that universal energy, holding it up, and then turn your hands and bring it back down toward the earth, sweeping the hands back. And then turn the hands around, sweep them forward again, coming all the way up, bringing that earth energy to the universe, and hands out and around, gathering in the universal energy, and bringing it back down to earth. Just slowly through that range of motion one more time. Sweep it up, gather it around, and bring it back to earth. And then coming back to your heart and into prayer position and that we have a little more circulation, just feel that upper body. Then we're going to go to a wall or a door. Make sure it's nice and firm. Put your hands on it, shoulder level, right in front of your shoulders, shoulder width apart. And then bring your hands up the length of your hands. And then step back, feet toward the toes toward the wall. Reach your head up toward your hands. Keep the head, top of the head, crown going toward your hands. Push your sitting bones back. Till your hips are over your ankles, and just let that chest area, armpit area sink down. But the top of your head, remember, still up towards your hands, so you feel that whole upper back expanding. Heart area just sinking. 
Push the sitting bones, hips back, crown high, and just let that just sink down toward the floor. Take a moment and breathe. And then bend your knees, tuck in your chin, step forward, release your arms, and come back to the mat in mountain pose. Just feel that upper body just a little bit more activated and energized. And then once more, hands to your heart. Inhale them toward the ceiling. Nice upper body back bend. So bring the thumbs back. Keep looking at them, lifting your heart and looking toward those thumbs. Bring them all these far back as it feels good. And then exhale and follow the hands down again. Feeling me over, exhaling all the way down. Come in a little deeper if you want with your hands behind your legs. And then release those hands to the front. Palms together, inhaling slowly to your heart. And again, all the way up into a nice back bend again, following the thumbs. Heart high, keep that focus on the chest area for the back bend. Separate your hands, swan dive forward, chest and chin lead, and then drop again all the way over and behind you. Hands up this time on your shins, do that halfway up stretch. Exhale back down, sweep the hands out, bend the knees slightly, and then straighten them and your back and your arms halfway up. Palms toward the ceiling and rising, hands together over your head. Looking at your thumbs, another back bend, and exhale. Follow your hands all the way to your heart, pivoting over, all the way down, into that dog. One more halfway up stretch, stretch and straight. Bend your knees again, exhaling all the way down to the neck. So one more child's pose, hips to your heels, transitioning back to the floor. Take a moment there, just relaxing. Deep breaths, knees together, get a good stretch on your lower back too. And then bring your arms out in front, separate them to the sides of the mat, pivoting up, slide your legs back, roll all the way onto your belly. <clears throat> Forehead to the floor, arms shoulder width apart, extend it out in front of you. Feet hip width apart. Take a moment there, just breathe. Tuck that forehead gently toward the floor so the neck keeps stretching. And then inhaling, face forward, crown slightly toward the ceiling. Tuck the chin back toward your chest. Don't, don't over crunch your neck. And then lift your right hand forward and up, and your left toes back and up. So a little opposite stretch. One arm up and one foot up. And just lengthen and reach out through the fingertips and the toes. And exhale, hand and foot back down. Forehead to the floor. Again, just center and ground through those hip bones. Reach out through the fingertips, shoulder blades, though, remember always toward your waist. And then again, opposite side, left arm up. Right foot up through the base of the toes, stretch it out, get a good cross body stretch. Lengthen through the fingers and the toes. And then exhaling, get the hands back down. And then take a moment, forehead to the floor, bring your hands back under your shoulders, and push again into child's pose for a good back stretch. Take a moment and breathe. Exhale, attention. And then bringing your arms again to the front sides of the mat, sliding up and rolling the hips down and the whole spine down and the forehead again to the floor. This time, start with your hands at your side, palms up, head to one side, and rest in crocodile. Shoulders down. Breathing deep. Just exhale and relax. And then on another breath, exhale again and turn your head to the opposite side. Remember, we want to stretch it evenly on both sides. Take a moment there and breathe. And then we're going to do a little upper body cobra today. So bring your forehead to the floor, 
Bring your arms way out in front of you. Get on the floor and stretch long. Hands shoulder width apart, feet hip width apart. Let that lower body relax. Remember, in cobra, lower body does nothing. So take the fingertips back to the heel of your palm and move your hands back closer so the palms are down a little bit further towards your body. Elbows out toward the sides of the mat. Forehead on the floor. And then we're going to inhale and bring your forehead or your crown up, face to the front. Tuck the chin back towards your chest, chest forward and up, and crown high toward the ceiling, shoulder blades towards your waist, and you do that way upper body back bend. This will be way across that neck shoulder area as you come into this version of the cobra. Lower body does nothing, just let those hips and legs sink. Take a breath, sink those ribs, chest forward and up, shoulder blades towards your waist, crown high. Take a moment in the back bend, feeling where it is. Remember, if it gets too much for you, just lower your body slowly back toward the floor. Take a moment and breathe, and then exhaling, chin toward your chest, forehead toward the floor, coming back in. Take a moment feeling where that circulation is in your body, probably right across that neck shoulder area. And then take your fingertips in again to the heel of your palm, hands closer to your body, elbows further out toward the sides, beyond the sides of the mat, and forehead on the floor. Once again, inhale, face forward, crown up. Tuck that chin back toward your chest just slightly. So that neck gets a good stretch along the back of your neck. Chest forward and up, come a little higher. So this time, you're probably feeling that contraction right across your upper heart chest area. Just maximize that as much as you like, keeping that crown lifting as that lower body rib area just sink down into the floor. So nice upper body back then. Take a moment and breathe. Heart forward. Grand high. Just relax the rest of your body. And remember, those hands are not supporting you. They're just positioning. So don't put a lot of pressure in your hands or your arms. Let the spine do the work. And again, take another breath. And as you exhale, chin in, forehead to the floor, and relax. And again, just notice the circulation a little bit more at that point of contraction. Probably right along the upper heart chest area. And we're going to bring the hands back one more time. So again, fingertips in, hands back maybe about temple level with the heel of your palms, elbows way out to the sides, forehead on the floor. Relax those hips, legs, everything hip width apart through that lower body. It still does nothing, though, but it do any work. Inhale, face to the front, crown high, tuck the chin back, let those back of the neck vertebrae stretch apart, chest and chin slightly forward, shoulder blades down toward your waist. And again, upper body and kind of shoulder blade area back again this time. So just notice where that contraction is across your upper back. Getting into the lower back, just bring your body back closer to the floor. We don't need to work the lower back today. So again, chest forward and up, ground high. Just feel where that contraction is. Remember, mindfulness. Be in the person in your practice doing what's right for your body. Personal practice. And again, maximize or minimize for your body. Another breath, ground high. Chest forward, opening the heart. And again, chin in and forehead back slowly to the floor. Take a moment there, just relax. Again, observing where that circulation has increased energy is flowing. And yogini choice, you get to pick where you want that contraction to be. Step closer toward your head. That's more middle back, further away. That's your upper back. So pick your point. If you get it wrong as you start, you can go down and start all over again. So again, 
Plant your hands where you want the contraction. Forehead on the floor. And again, face forward, crown up. Tuck that chin back in. Bring those shoulder blades down towards your waist. And push the heart forward and up. Crown toward the ceiling. Coming into that upper body back then, if it's not where you thought it would be. Exhale back down. Bring your hands further out for higher up your back. Closer to your shoulders for lower down your back. Maximize your choice. Just keep breathing with it. Remember, no pressure in those arms and hands. Let the spine do the work. Chest forward and up, crown high. Keep breathing. Just relax your lower body. It doesn't do anything. And again, allow your body to come down whenever you need to. Otherwise, one more heart forward and cramp higher if that works for you today. And again, on an exhalation, bring your forehead back in. Chin just slightly toward your chest, forehead to the floor. And this time, bring your heels under your shoulders again. Press up and back. And another child's pose. You can keep those arms out in front if you want, or just bring those shoulders down as well. Take a moment and breathe. And then inhaling, sit up on your heels, bring your legs out the front, and slide those feet to the end of the mat. Come into staff position, ribs in and up, shoulders back and down, crown high to the ceiling, just breathing, focusing inward. Get your feet hip width apart, activate those core muscles, and we're just going to slowly roll down onto our backs. So, core working to support you as you come onto your sacrum, onto your lower shoulder blades, and onto your back. Hands, palms up, just a little reclined integration. Take a moment there, breathing. Exhale, tension. And relax. And get those shoulders sinking down. Feel the heart opening. Bring your arms, palms up to T position. Sitting bones down toward your heels as you bend your knees and press that back gently into the floor. We're going to do a twist. So go ahead and Press out through the right leg and bring that leg up to the seat. So remember, you can bend the knee first and bring it up, or you can bring it up straight all the way perpendicular to the floor if that works for you. Knee as straight as it feels comfortable. Press up through the bottom of that leg as much as it wants to do today. We're going to roll all the way to the left side of the body, bringing the foot down to the floor and the hands together in front of you. So all the way over to the side, come onto your left side, and bring your left hand and foot together, right foot together. Hold the foot or your leg with your left hand, and bring your right arm right above your shoulder to the ceiling. And again, we're going to open that upper body. So palm up toward the ceiling, hand right at shoulder level, lower is behind you as you look at it, down toward the floor, coming into a twist. So the more you can hold your foot at shoulder level, then press that foot away from you, the more your lower back is in the twist. The more your hand comes down toward the floor, middle back twist, only go as far as feels right, and then let gravity do the work underneath the rest of the way. And then turn your head for that neck area twist, as much or as little as your neck moves. Take a few breaths there, just relax. Exhale in tension. And just allow your body to sink into that twist as deeply as you like. You feel that heart opening as that arm lowers toward the floor behind you. Take a breath. Exhale tension. Deepen into it as much or as little as you like. Remember all this personal practice, especially during twists, honoring your spine. And when you're ready to release, just let go of your leg or your foot, roll onto your back, bring that leg back up to the ceiling and flex it. Press your back down, lead with the heel, use your core for support, and let that leg lower slowly. 
As it gets all the way down, just take a moment, breathe, relax, and just notice that twist energy moving through you. And again, we're going to sitting bones toward the heels, bending your knees slightly, and press the back down as you bring that left leg up for our opposite twist. And again, everything's straight on the floor, shoulders and shoulder blades down, hands, palms up right at shoulder level, and foot flexed, pressing up through the heel. Take a breath there. As you exhale, we're going to roll this time all the way to the right side. So the foot comes down to the floor, your whole body is on the right side. Your head is on the floor, remember, don't look that neck too much, and your hand is palm up right there. And then bring your foot up into your hand or hold on to your leg wherever you can, keeping that foot down for that lower back twist. The arm comes right above your shoulder, palm open as you look up at it straight toward the ceiling. And then keep looking at it, turning your whole spine as you move that hand back toward the floor. And again, it may not make it to the floor, just let gravity do the work then. Bringing you into the twist as your body becomes ready. Personal practice always. Just go wherever your body is willing to go. Remember, the more you push that foot away, if you're holding it, the more that lower back is in the twist, the more that hand comes toward the floor, middle back twist, and the more your head turns in that and shoulder area in the twist. Don't go too far from your spine. Just do what's right for you. Deep breaths. Exhale, tension. Just relax. Now, as always, just deepen into your twist as much or as little as your body is needing today. Exhale, tension. Remember, the more you exhale, the more those ligaments release, and the more your body deepens. Just let it happen, don't force it. And of course, when you're ready to release, letting go of your foot, roll onto your back, straighten things out, flex the heel, and again, four muscles activated as it slowly lower that foot to the floor. And when it gets all the way down this time, just to straighten things out, bring your hands near your hips, palms up, sitting down towards your heels again, bend your knees, bring your heels in near your hips, feet flat, press your back down, lift your legs, bring your feet into your hands. And then we're gonna bring the bottoms of your feet up toward the ceiling, Separate those knees a little bit more and press them into your hands. Head just gently down to slightly towards your chest, coming into your happy baby. You can wrap your fingers around your toes. Do you want to get a little bit more opening through the hips? And sink the back down into the floor. Take a moment there. Just take a moment and relax. Some people like to move slightly side to side to get that lower back and back area and get more circulation. And then releasing your feet or your toes, bring the knees toward you. Wrap your arms around, give yourself that appreciative yoga home, bringing your forehead up to your hands. And then head to the floor, exhaling hands to the mat, feet to the floor, slide those legs back. Turn your hands, palms up into corpse position, and it's time for our relaxation. So again, shoulder blades toward your waist, heart nicely open as you do that. Just feel that whole upper body, and let it relax. Sink the shoulders down into that surface beneath you. Hands, palms up to keep those shoulders relaxed. Be tip with the part. Toes straight up, of course, slightly out to the side, but don't just lock them open. Just let that full lean toe area be up. Take a moment and breathe. Feel that hip lower back area sink a little deeper into that surface beneath you. Let your lower body just relax completely. Your entire body growing heavy. 
Just let it sink deeper into that earth's surface and Mother Earth support you. Shoulders relaxing, heart opening, soften your face and your jaw. Close your eyes and focus inward. Release and relax any part of your body that still needs to go. Deepen into that earth support. And allow thoughts of your body to release from your awareness. As those thoughts disappear from your attention, just allow your mind to release any thoughts flowing in. Remember, it's always the job of your mind to keep producing thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. At this moment, just let the thoughts drift in and out as easy as your birth, flowing in and flowing out without awareness. No need to remember the past. No need to anticipate the future. Just let the thoughts go, relaxing your body, Releasing your mind, turning your awareness away from your body and your mind, and just letting it flow inward, finding that peace within, filling your body with peace, filling your mind with peace, and just take a few moments to be peace. And of course, if you have time to keep relaxing today for longer, just take as much time as you can. If it's time to get reactivated for the rest of your day, just begin breathing more deeply, drawing energy and awareness back to the moment, to the one, to the other. And as you begin breathing more deeply, just begin moving your body gently, however it feels good for you today. And as you stretch more fully, breathe more deeply. Ready for your final yoga hug of appreciation. Sitting bones toward your heels, back pressing down. Draw those heels to your hips and your knees toward your heart. Wrap your arms around, however, it feels good for you to get a good stretch. Head sitting on the your body know you appreciate some yoga work today and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release, bring your head and feet to the floor. Roll over to the side and sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead for you. Thanks for joining me.